I, I know literally nothing about this game other than it's not well liked. Okay, well, um, I can give you a quick synopsis. So, the game is, um, it's a procedurally generated game. So everything in the game that you see is randomly generated. There are, um, there's an uncountable number of planets to visit, star systems to visit. There's millions just in a single galaxy, and there's 256 galaxies, right? So you can you can literally play the game and never never see you know never cover the same ground twice if you want and never see anything that anyone else has ever seen. Um, and obviously uh, that's kind of a misnomer because the game is creating is randomly generating it. Um, new environments and new creatures and new ships and new guns out of a few assets, right? So it's not it's not um, entirely true that you will never see the same things, right? Um, you'll see similar things, similar looking things like this ship. You know, I'll see ships that are, that are kind of based on the same design. Um, they'll look a little bit similar, but they'll have little pieces out of place different colors um so it's not entirely true that it's it's a completely that it's completely procedurally generated but the worlds themselves are random um and so you get um such variety you get more variety here than you're going to get in environments and um ships and stuff than you're going to get in just about any other game so that's fun. There's a lot of novelty to that and interest to that, I think. Um, but beyond that, the game itself is just... It's a very slow-paced game, right? So it's a very calm game. You're just... you're. There's no real set goals for you. You kind of get to define your own goals, your own pace, your own idea of what the game should be. Um... And you can play it however you want to play it. If you want to, you know, hop from planet to planet and just and just check out the animals, you can totally do that. If you want to, you know, try to learn all the alien languages, you can do that. If you want to, you know, um, there's a couple of quest lines that are. There's like three quest lines. There's the quest line to build a base, um, which is really not really a quest line. It's kind of just more showing you how to teaching you how to build things um, so that you can build whatever you want. And then there's the quest line. There's two quest lines that are kind of story-based. And, you know, but they're short. They they don't really tell you much. It's more just like um, kind of a, a way to lead you deeper into the galaxy so that you don't get stuck on you know, the first couple systems that you visit and just wander around there forever and think that's the entire game. So it's, um, I think that, that part of the problem, well, there were a lot of problems with the game. The, the reason it's not, one of the reasons why it's not well liked, I believe, is that um, people thought they were getting a different game than they were actually getting. So, and that's, part of that's, you know, the fault of the developers and marketing that was done ahead of time. And part of that's, the fault of you know the people who are building the game up to be more than really what they were being told it was the point of the game there is no real point to the game and i think that's the problem most people have with it there's no point there's no overarching theme or purpose to what you're doing it's just a big sandbox to play around in truthfully so you know that's i think that's the big problem with the game if there's a problem with the game, that's it. Um, but I personally don't mind that because I like just wandering around and doing my own thing. Like, I'm totally cool with that. That's what I like doing more than anything. So I don't have an issue with this game at all because it's exactly what I want it to be.